Good day, Facebook Live. Give me one second. Let me get Instagram Live going. Good day, Instagram Live. Hello, hello. Let's see. As you are tuning in, I'd love to know, number one, where you're tuning in from. Number two, three things you're grateful for today. Uh, let me take this off of here. Whoa. There we go. We're back. Kara, welcome. What's up, my Aussie friends? Naeem, nice to see you. Julia, welcome back. Ahmed, welcome. Tyson, Denny. Tre Troy, nice to see you. Vladimir, welcome, welcome. Aaron, welcome. Sarah, welcome. Again, as you're tuning in, love to know, number one, where you're tuning in from. Number two, love to know three things you're grateful for. Sarasota Polo Fields, very nice, Denny. Uh, first time here. Well, welcome. Nice to have you. Evan, nice to see you. Do you have events in Palm Beach? I don't. My dad does. Go to TonyRobbins.com. Check it out. He has one coming up at the end of this month. Hello, Nicholas. Nice to see you. Troy, what's up, buddy? Tyson, nice to see you. Let's see. Good morning, Australia. Grateful for my body, ability to work with children, my family. Very nice. From Georgia, welcome, California. Grateful, let's see, Indiana, grateful for the roof, my kids, roof over my head, my heart because it's cold here. Salt Lake City, my kids, the sun and food. From Nigeria, welcome. From Mexico, Mexico, welcome. Got a game, need some motivation. Let's do it. From Brazil, welcome friends. From Tulsa, Indiana, India, grateful for God, family, and books. From London, welcome, welcome. West Point, Georgia, the love for my son, love of God, and thriving business. Argentina. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, as you're all tuning in, hello from Holland. Elaine, welcome. From Los Angeles, welcome back. So as you're tuning in, today's topic for our 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge, we're on day 14, and we're going to talk about the importance of building a world-class peer group. So right now, what I'd love you to do is first, let's figure out what does the effects of a peer group have on your performance? And, and so, you know, the first thing what I'd love you to do Think of your five closest friends. So your five closest friends. And the first thing I want you to do is think about, hey, from Bolivia, welcome. Think about your five closest friends. So if we put a little dot, put a circle, and we're going to draw out five friends. So one, two, three, four, five. So, so it's you and five friends, right? Now, think of these five friends, and the first thing I want you to do is think about how healthy are each of these five friends that you spend a lot of time with. What do they eat? What do they do? How healthy? How healthy are these five friends? Now, I don't know what the sign for health is. Mm, you know, how healthy? I'm going to put a heart for health. So the first question is how, how healthy, it's heart health. So how healthy, zero to 10, are your five friends? Just take a cumulative average of the group. How healthy are your five friends? Next one I'd love to know, how happy? Take a cumulative average, how happy are your five friends? If you look at all five of your friends, zero to 10, on average, how happy are all five of your friends? So think that through, how, how, how healthy they are, how happy they are. Actually, let me go like this. Let's change this little heart for health to, an, we'll just write health. So there, how healthy are they? How happy are they? Zero to 10. And I'm looking in the comment section to see what your ratings are. I don't see them coming through. So how healthy, zero to 10, create a little scale here. How healthy, zero to 10, are, are your five friends on average? 
How happy are they on average? What about their love and relationship? Zero to 10, how would you rate your, your five closest friends when it comes to love and relationship? Bradley, good morning. How would you rate your five closest friends when it comes to love and relationship? Are they killing it? Are they passionately in love? Are they head over heels, just loving each other and, and doing amazing in this section? Cassie says health, they're about a six. Mr. Paradox says they're about a five. Which category? Make sure you write the category and the number. Ah, you're right. So how healthy are they? How happy are they? What about their love? Head over heels in love. How, how in love are your, your, your five closest friends? You know, what about financially? How much are your five closest friends making? Are they killing it? And hold on, let me, let me be fair here. I don't know what, what group we're talking to. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. There, I added some currencies. Oops, hold on, I'm messing up my, messing up my little financial wealth bucket over here. There we go. How, how, how financially abundant are your five friends, zero to 10? You know? And I'm gonna let you pick whatever this final category is. How are they doing in this final category? Now this one's important. Because if you look at these categories and you add up the average of how your five friends are doing, more often than not, not 100% of the time, but more often than not, if I asked, how are you doing in these categories? Cassie says that could be freedom. How free are your five friends? It could be how, how well are they organized in their family life? It could be how good are they at time management? It could be um, how's their business doing? It could be how good are they on self-reflection? It could be um, what's their spiritual life like? It could, be, it could be all kinds of stuff. Aaron, good morning. And, and, and so as you look at this, the key is you'll notice whatever the numbers are that show up in all these little categories with your five friends are more often or not the same numbers if you were to ask, how are you? Could be emotional intelligence. How emotionally intelligent are your five friends? So pick whatever category that last one is for you and fill it in and ask well, zero to 10, how would I rate the, the performance of my five closest friends in all these categories and we'll put a little question mark for that one's up to you to pick. So pick your five friends, pick your five categories and give them a rating how you're doing. Now, what's interesting is when you wanna grow, when you wanna expand, one thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look at who you're currently with and you're gonna wanna use this little 33% rule. Meaning you're going to want to put together a plan that says from now on, 33% of the people that I want to connect with need to be doing better, better than me in one of these at categories or, or multiple of these categories. But first off, 33% need to be doing better than me. 33% need to be at the exact same level or moment in order so you guys you know the 33 percent that are better than you or ahead of you or three step they don't have to be better than you they might be further ahead than you they might be more experienced than you they might have been doing it longer than you whatever it is but for some way or, or form they they have more knowledge than you do in this category and more experience more than just knowledge it's not just they've read more books they have more experience these are the 33% people that you want to learn from. So, you know, live it right over my right shoulder here. Live it. You, there's the first step, which is learn it. So these are people you want to learn from. 33%, these are people you want to live it with. You want to trade stories. What's working? What's not? How are you doing? Give me some insight. I used this strategy last week. Oh, I used that one the week before. How did it go for you? Oh, this is how it went for me. You're trading and catching stories. You're learning from these people, trading and catching stories. And then the final 33%, this is the group that you give to where, where they can come learn from you. You can go say, hey, I've really mastered uh, my happiness. 
and, and, and you know, you're struggling. So come to me and I'll show you 10 tips you can do every day that'll absolutely crush your happiness and, and, and crush it in a great way. Make it expand and beautiful and exciting. But this, this is a little plan. So we're talking about peer group. And this is going to be a real simple plan and lesson, you know, little exercise for day, uh, what day? For the 14 on the 100-day journey here. I want you to take at least five categories of life. I want you to add up a current average of your five closest friends, see how you're doing. And then I want you to put a goal sheet together. And the goal said, I need to identify five people who are doing better than me in whatever category I want to grow in. I need to identify five people at the exact same level as I am. And I need to identify five people who, who might be 10 steps behind me that I can share with. Now, once you have that list, um, in a couple modules here, a couple sessions, I'll go over how to go build this peer group. And, and so real simple, have a great night, friends in Dubai there. Real simple, I want you to just spend some time identifying who, you know, how your closest friends are, how you're doing right now in all categories, identify 33% of people. So if you're going to go make 10 friends, three of them, you know, are, are going to be better than you at whatever you're going to focus on. Three of them are going to be at the exact same level and three of them are, are going to be people that you can share with and you can help. That's today's session. It's real simple, but I want you to take that action, give yourself the current rating in all categories, identify five people you can learn from, five people you can pitch and catch with, and five people you can share with and give to. And, and, and then um, I'll show you in a couple sessions here how to go and, and connect with these people and build the peer group. And it's going to be about what you add to them, not what you try to get from them. So that's today's session. Take some time, put it on paper, map it out, hold on to that paper and, and bring it back that way. And a few sessions from now, I'll show you how to go build that network specifically. But have fun, kick some butt, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Let me close this.